What's up guys, Big D Wiz back once again, OldSchoolStereo.com. What in the world have we got going on here? Well, this is kind of an idea I've had for a while. And based on the uh, toolbox, boombox I did a while back, I've always wanted to do kind of a portable stereo system using old school gear. As you can see here, this is kind of a layout of what I'm planning on doing. I actually went and bought the wood today to fabricate the subwoofer enclosure. And this is going to be a work in progress. It's probably going to take me several weeks to complete. But um, I'll walk through each of the components I'm going to use. Alright, so you may see here the first item that we have is the actual enclosure itself, which is a military style um, waterproof and this one's made out of um, I believe it's ABS plastics really really tough hard plastic enclosure but just to give you an idea it's um, exterior dimensions are about 19 by nine and a half by about eleven and a half so this is the this is what I'm planning on using as you can see it's a nice amount of space in there to to mount the equipment and first up I'll show you the subwoofer I'm going to use this is the Rockford Fosgate punch audio file and the model number is RFA 408 it's an 8 ohm sorry, four ohm, eight inch subwoofer. So the way I have it planned is this is gonna mount kind of uh, at the bottom like that, but it's gonna be actually firing through the box, through the enclosure that way. And next up, the mids and highs. These are also Rockford Fosgate Punch audio file. And these are the RFA the actual component system is called the 414, but these are the 44 RFA 44 4 ohms 4 inch speaker, which comes with the passive crossover for the mids and the tweeters, and the 1 inch soft dome audiophile tweeter. For the source, we're going to use a real old school, this is from the late 80s, Punch um, PA1 preamp by Rockford Fosgate. This one has really cool LEDs right here in the center, which are going to be neat. And they also have the, the knobs, which look just like the ones on the amp. And as you can see, it has input, two inputs. We're not going to use a tape player, I know this is oldschoolsteering.com, but we're gonna use a, an iPod for one and we're gonna just have an aux for the other. And you can see there's multiple outputs, but we're only using one amplifier, so we're only gonna use one of the outputs, but this is gonna be sort of the main uh, volume control for the entire unit. And to power the system, we're gonna use a Rockford Fosgate Punch 45 amplifier. This is rated at 22.5 watts RMS per channel, but my testing shows it's somewhere between 45 and 55 watts per channel at four ohms. And bridged into four ohms, it does around 130 to 140 watts. So I'm gonna run the amp in the tri-mode configuration. So I'm gonna have the subwoofer bridged at four ohms and have the mids running stereo using the same amplifier the punch 45 and since I wanted this unit to be completely portable I decided to go with two of these 12 volt 8 amp per hour uh, sealed lead acid batteries which they can be mounted in any any method that needs to be up down left right sideways upside down it doesn't matter so I got two of these and the reason I did is because the punch 45 although it's very efficient in its power output 
two of these uh, should give it you know a nice running time probably a couple hours maybe a little bit more and to keep the batteries charged i've got this battery tender type device that I, that i purchased from harbor freight tools very inexpensive it was about ten dollars or so and it's a trickle charger and hopefully i'm going to have room to mount this inside the enclosure and i've already got a um, power plug that i can use to convert the power plug on this to a female so i can just have a male plug on the outside and um, you know plug it straight into the wall that way so hopefully i'll have room to fit this and i also picked up a rocker switch this is a 12 volt 25 amp lighted uh, rocker switch and this is going to control the battery power going to the entire system and I just picked this up today at Radio Shack, it's about $4. And the other component that I'm not showing right now is the tri-mode crossover. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet, but I have several to choose from. So uh, when I get to that point, I'll let you guys know which uh, model that I use. Well, there you go, a brief overview of the components I'm going to use for my old school boom box here. All Rockford Fosgate components, excluding the batteries. And there's some other components I did not show, which I don't have yet. The iPod dock and uh, the aux input plate that I'm gonna use to mount on the outside. And um, also maybe a USB port that I'm gonna mount on the outside so I can plug and charge things in as well. But you guys stay tuned to my channel. This is going to be an exciting build. It might take me a while to do it uh, over a few weeks. But I will get it done. And you'll be able to see it. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. This is Big D Wiz. OldSchoolStare.com. See ya.